The legislative session hasn't even begun and already organizers from Itasca Working Families Alliance and Take Action Minnesota are rallying for an increase in the state's minimum wage. Sarah Madison has the latest efforts to make the minimum at $9.50 by 2015. The minimum wage is too damn low! Thank you! The cold didn't stop this group in Grand Rapids from holding a rally to increase the state's minimum wage. And poverty wages! And poverty wages! Currently, the wage is at $6.15, a dollar and ten cents lower than the federal minimum. We're feeling that more and more people are falling behind, uh, you know, with the uh, livable wage. The state house already passed a bill that would raise the minimum wage to 950 with index to inflation by 2015. Organizers are now pushing the Senate. Organizers say they will continue protesting until the bill passes the Senate this legislative session. According to Take Action Minnesota, a parent supporting two children and working full-time earning the federal minimum wage will only make a little more than $15,000 annually. 13000 under the state's minimum. Parents who have worked for that amount say it's not enough and had to work at least two jobs. I mean, working two jobs and being a single mom, I mean, you just do what you have to do. But the argument is that the bill will hurt small business owners. Kat Kaplan, owner of Kat's Book Nook, says she pays well over the federal minimum wage to her employees, but doesn't think she can handle a wage at nine fifty. I'd have to postpone even thinking about bringing on additional employees, or even hanging on to employees during our slow times. Mike Stitzworth of Stitzworth Meats say the pay rate should be determined by how much the business can sustain. I think it should be up to the business to, to say what they are willing to pay an employee. There are supporters for both sides of the argument, which will make for an interesting legislative session. Sarah Madison, Lakeland News. And the next legislative session starts later this year. It starts on February 25th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.